Live now with Congressman Joaquin Castro. And Congressman Castro, we heard what you said just before the break there about what North Korea might be capable of doing and what we have to watch out for. You know they had this overnight nuclear test. You've seen those pictures of Kim Jong-un with what looks like a miniaturized nuclear weapon on an ICBM. That's right. And if the reports are to be believed, then it's quite possible that they've achieved the ability to send a nuclear weapon to the mainland United States. And so at this point, anybody who's advocating for military action against North Korea is advocating for military action against a nuclear power who has also made threats against the United States. I think that the best course of action for Donald Trump now and for the United States is to use the significant sanctions that were passed at the United Nations about three weeks ago, which were the strictest sanctions North Korea has ever existed under, uh, and use those sanctions to work with China, to work with our allies, and to marshal the world to choke the economy of North Korea and bring them to the table. But, but I, I think that's exactly what they were trying to do during this period. And instead, you have Kim Jong-un blasting off missiles. You have this nuclear test. He hadn't tested a nuclear weapon for a year. We've had a show of force. I saw them over there, you know, flying jets around and whatever they can do to show that we're tough, and it hasn't worked. No, that's right, Martha. Look, we tried a basically an approach of isolation and non-engagement after the failure of the six-party talks and they've been developing this nuclear technology. Part of the challenge for the United States and for our allies is that our intelligence has also not been perfect. So we weren't exactly sure how far along their nuclear capacity had evolved. Uh, so there's always been a very big risk involved. Uh, at the same time, we have not gone all out the way we are now in terms of secondary sanctions against Chinese and Russian institutions that are still doing business with North Korea. And, and at this point, you know that you've essentially got to choke their economy and bring them to the table. And, and how long do you think that would actually take? I mean, he seems so intent on getting a nuclear weapon. How long do you think it would take to really choke the economy if we get the cooperation from others? Uh, a lot of that depends on China, because uh, most of the economy that North Korea has left that exists has to do with China. So, you know, it depends on China's willingness to be helpful, which they've, as the president has noted, they've gotten better about, but also our willingness to sanction Chinese institutions that still do business with North Korea. And, and what other options if that fails? And what about, what about our allies in the region? There are reports right now that President Trump is considering withdrawing from a trade pact with South Korea, who we need. Yeah, that's right. Well, first of all, uh, the president, President Obama back then, and President Trump, have reiterated our commitments to North Korea, to South Korea, and to Japan. Uh, so those are rock solid. Uh, but remember, there's also hundreds of thousands of Americans who live in South Korea and Japan who would be directly in harm's way if there was military action to happen there. Uh, so, you know, we've got to make sure that we marshal all, all of our resources. Uh, this has got to be a time when, when the president puts aside any other big differences like a trade agreement with South Korea. Uh, and is on the same page with the leaders of South Korea and Japan so that we're all working on this together. This is not the time to get into a big trade fight with South Korea. It, it, Senator Cruz talks about building up our defensive capabilities. Would you agree with that? Is that something we should really concentrate on? Uh, I absolutely agree. And it would be a time, I think, to possibly test our defensive uh, systems, like the THAAD missile defense system, which is based, part of it at least, in South Korea. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, Martha, look, uh, you know, if they strike our allies, they have to know that we'll strike back. Do, do you think Kim would actually do a first strike? I mean, do you think he's crazy enough to do something like this, or is this all about negotiations and power? Uh, I believe that it's probably about negotiations and power, but because I, North Korea is such an isolated nation in the world, it's impossible to answer that question with complete certainty. And, and you heard the president's or saw the president's tweets this morning, I, I imagine. Also, his comments about fire and fury. Yeah. What do you think that did to this equation? I don't think that it's been helpful. Uh, I don't think that it's helpful to get into uh, a Twitter shouting match with a 32-year-old dictator, Kim Jong-un, in North Korea. I think, unfortunately, that it's escalated the tension in the situation. Uh, and he needs to let his diplomats and his military generals and others um, handle the situation. So, so just quickly, what do you see happening in the next month, in the next two months? What would you like to see happen in terms of the language coming from the White House and in, in terms of what the White House does? Uh, number one, I think they're going to have to continue to 
uh, iterate our support for our allies in the region. Uh, secondly, we're going to have to continue to pursue secondary sanctions against the institutions in whatever country they find themselves that are propping up the economy of North Korea. And then there's got to be an earnest effort to actually bring them to the table. Okay, thank you very much, Congressman Castro, and thank you for all you've done this week to help Houston and others recover. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.